so we draw the line. It's hard to reach over here, but on some of these, I'm going to just put a little bit. Just a little bit. It just gives her a looser. There's a spray bottle here. It, it loosens the paint up. So it's, it's the way I, I don't like to paint with a lot of details. Maybe a few. But when you spray it like this, you can see that it does um, get wet and then you can kind of cross over like this. Okay. I have some white running down. Just, no, I just want to make it a, kind of a hazy picture. And uh, sometimes you just kind of use the white and haze it out like that. See, that would be the darkest one. Um, I'm going to take some uh, yellows, kind of yellowish greens, put in some grass over here. Maybe I'll use some, some greens. A bit darker color right in here. Right in this, this is my focal point. So, well, it's looking a little better, but you know, it's an experiment. You experiment with what the paint does. And uh, on this tree, I'm going to use a little more white and kind of, well, I don't want that much. Kind of fade it out in areas. Sort of like a fog. A fog around here. You know, God is a light, and He's a light, and everything else in this world, without Him, you just can't make it by yourself. So many people think they can, but you can't. Now see, uh, I'm going to use a white as a this kind of shoreline of the water. Pull it across here. Pull across there like that. We're gonna move in the sky. I'm gonna make it a, a, a little bit to form a color. I see those trees, they do show through up there yet. And uh, air cover them up a little more. They might be in the fog, though. It's just foggy over here in my color. up the color a little. I did have some purple over here anyway. All right in here I gotta make it look like there's some trees fading fading out in here. 
That's a little bit too dark. Just bring in the, your brush. Fade out that. Now I really have some purple on my brush. But then that's alright because it gives it more of a color. Let me just a little bit darker over here. Here. Now to brighten it all up, I'm going to put some. Okay, for the fan brush, I'm going to bring in some uh, orange color stuff, color, along the shoreline. Kind of like that. That was short, I know it was there. I'm working on this tree a little bit better and uh, putting the shadow in the water. Sorry, I just went maybe a little bit more in there. Maybe make the shoreline over here a little more definite. Just kind of brighten this picture up. And then take my big brush and um, put the water in it. Come in here like this. Soften it up. I think I'm going to show you that this is the end <laughs> because you know God he makes everything beautiful I can't do it like he does but I I sure am glad I got a glimpse of him when I almost died uh, seven eight months ago with a blood clot on my brain and how thankful I am that he healed me and just sent me back so I could paint some more. Um, I was at death's door and God was opening the door for me, ready for me to go to heaven. And I saw a glimpse and then Jesus told me, do I want to come back here? And I said yes and he sent me back to work for him. I hope you know Jesus today because he loves you more than anything in the world. And he died for you. Just think of that. He not only created you, but he saved you from the sin of the world by dying. What a wonderful God we have. I hope you enjoyed this today. And you see, you can make something out of nothing. I mean, look what I started with. How many times I changed it. But you see with that white paint, and it is a watercolor base, so it works really good. You can cover up things. And uh, I could work on this a, a long time, but I think it's okay. Thank you for watching.